In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble a DDT640 and a DDT660 tilt mechanism. So we'll go ahead and begin. Uh, the DDT640 is uh, simply a narrow version of the 660. And so we're just basically, we're going to show you how to do this 6, uh, 640, which is uh, the same way, obviously, as the 660. It's just going to, the 660 is just going to be a little bit wider. So we're going to go ahead and begin. The first thing what we want to do is we actually want to put uh, together the, the inside cradle, which is very simple to do. So what we want to do here is go ahead and utilizing our 632 by 3 8 inch screws, we're going to go ahead and attach our 585 470s. So, there's two of these where both sides are going to be absolute, absolutely identical. Put those in just like that. Grab the next one here. Put those screws in. As you can see here, there's a lot of different uh, holes you can actually mount it in, and you'll see that a little bit later on where you can actually shift the center plate over if you need to, depending on your camera or whatever device you're installing on the 6, 640 or the 660. So, go ahead and bolt this together here. Now what we want to do is we want to put on the actual the camera plate and for this plate as you can see those are countersunk holes and so we're going to go ahead and use our well, 632 countersunk screws. There should be four of them that come in your kit here. Go ahead and put these on like this and bring the next plate up here. And we're not going to tighten them down quite yet until we get all four of them in. There we go. Put that one in, and now we can go ahead and tighten these down nice and tight. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, side uh, hub mounts in. So what we want to do first is we want to go ahead and assemble the one that actually has the is the ball bearing mount. As you can see, there's actually four standoffs that come with the system, um, but you actually want to grab the fifth one, actually, that actually has a 632 tap and has no hole on the other side, or no tap hole. And grab your center mount adapters, little, little washers with a cupped end, and we're going to grab our 632 by half inch bolt, slide that all the way through, put on the small little standoff here, Tighten that up so that way that part needs to look just like that. Next we're going to go ahead and drop this into our cradle here. We're going to put that in like so, grabbing our 632 by 3 8 inch long screws. Tighten that up. Just like that. And this is going to the ball bearing mount. We'll bolt right to this and that's what will allow this whole mechanism to tilt right on the ball bearing and on the other side the gear motor will support the weight on the other side. Put that in. Make sure these are nice and tight. Screw that one all the way in. And there we go. Now what we want to do is we want to put the other unit on the other side. Put that in between the plates. Oops. Hold it there. And we'll bolt this one together here. And both of these are the same on either side, so you don't need to orientate them um, at all. So there we go. Tighten that down. Oops. And just double check them. There we go, and there's the tilt mechanism, or the, actually the inside cradle. And in the next video, we're actually going to show you how to assemble the, uh, the outside cradle. So, there you go.